now that it's empty, I'm taking a chance to run a few wires. I'm not going to put much because I'm not thinking of dual batteries. So I don't want to put too much stress on the front battery. So basically, the green one, I'm hoping to put maybe a maxi vent in. Um, something with an intake-outtake fan. So I got the power sitting there ready. I'm going to run that to the battery, the green one. Or the fuse. The yellow one is going to go up to the console. Eventually a toggle switch for some kind of light. These lights hanging from the ceiling are to the dome switch light on the headlights. And I don't like turning that on because I find that when you turn it on, even you turn these lights off, it just seems to drain the battery. So I'm either going to disconnect that or just use that one for some kind of emergency. I don't like lights on the ceiling because you bump your head on them. Lots of screws. Saved all the foam. Somebody could probably use it. This is all the pieces. Buttons I have. That's a lot. That's a lot. Nice quality. But he mixed them up, whoever put it together, Peter. Every now and then there was a Phillips screw, just here and there. And then there was a lot, then it was mostly square. So I think they did that purposely. Now that I have it exposed, I've ran a few wires. I'm just gonna have small LEDs underneath the console. One light on the wall over here one light on the wall over there and then one light back here because i don't know what i'm going to do yet and that's it and they're all going to be leds so it's not going to be that much power i leave my wires exposed rather than pushing them in there and getting screws into them so i'll deal with the wires as i'm finishing if you push it down in behind there and throw screws in there to secure anything, you can hit. There's already a domain harness that runs through there. And I just have everything sitting up there. I'm going to label them. Looks a little messy, but it's really not a lot of wires. Okay, I have this number 10 wire. And I'm going to run it. Take these off because my 76 never had these, so it's kind of nice to have those. I'm going to take it off, run the 10 down, in through here, behind there, down behind the carpet, out to the battery. Probably put a buzz bar out there so that I'll connect it to that, or just a big battery, a big um, fuse. Run it up to the console and get my feed from there. And that would be a couple little LED lights, not a big deal. The 10 wire is probably a little thick, but I got it. It's free. I'm going to use it. I had labeled all the wires so I don't forget. It's not that many, but still. And then I got to figure out my console. I might want to change out the windshield because I got a chip repaired. Uh, somewhere there, somewhere. Yeah, it's there. But it, they did a pretty good job, but I don't want to put it too low, so I think I'm just going to stick to the rubber and go on a slope out, get some height. Looks like it might rain. I've been waiting for rain, but then there's blue skies. I want to test the sunroofs naturally. I could take a hose, but I want to try it just from rain and the back vent. Good time to check now. If it doesn't rain, gotta use the hose. So I got the wires ran last night. So this is sort of how I start my console. It's an L bracket. 
blocks and a few blocks. I try to stay above the rubber line with the first coat. I put one layer on first so that I have something to screw my finish onto. So one layer to the rubber so if I have to do the windshield I take off the finish. If I have to take off the bottom it's not a big deal but you gotta be able to get at the windshield. And it's got a fair amount of depth. It's only gonna be a CB and four toggle switches. I ordered a small three inch quartz clock and a small two and an eighth inch, inch thermos, thermostat. Thermometer, not thermostat, sorry guys. To show that it's 100 something degrees in here when it's parked in the sun. Put a bottom on it, just thin layer. And then I'm going to make a, a little bit nicer, thicker board wrapped to do the finish with a few lights in the bottom. So I have this um, nice little fuse box. I'm going to make all the wire connections first at, you know, maybe 15 inches of wire on it. Probably less actually, and um, have it ready just to wire in until my light's there. Throw some fuses in. Sunny day, so I'm going to do it outside. Love it. Okay, I set my toggle switches up with a connector on that side and a connector to put into the fuse box. in the van and there is a little bit of wire extra for wherever I wanted to locate it. Not too long but enough that I can drop it down and work on it is the plan. So what I did is I squared it off on the front for my distance across Then from there I'm going to take measurements every four inches to the rubber on the windshield and make my marks, join the dots. Same with this side. And I'll have my curve. And uh, we'll see what happens. But I still don't have to go buy anything because I have this piece. We'll see what happens. And if it doesn't work, it's a template. Okay, so I got my second piece cut from a scrap I had. Those holes will just be covered with foam. I'm gonna cover it with foam. First, I drilled these holes, three holes, because I have three quarter inch push lights. Um, they come, you drill a hole three quarter inch and you just push rubber, rubber in and then the light through it. It's a great light, LED. So I have three of them. So what I did is I drilled a small hole when I had it up on the, on the console and drilled right through the base of the other one. The other one I drilled a one inch hole and this one I'm going to drill three quarter inch holes to push the light through. The wires go up through the one inch. Lots of room, don't have to worry about squeezing. And uh, I'll show you that when I get to it. Okay, so here I had put that piece up here on the base and it's going to have, there's the holes I drilled so that I can uh, push the wires up through for the light, three spotlights. I'm gonna wrap this with, wrap the other piece and then it just screws on with the button, with the button screws. Okay, so I drop the three quarter inch holes. The rubber goes in. And then you just push the lights. You create lights. I way over there, I chose a white one for outdoor too so they're quite bright you can get them in all kinds of colors simple to install stick them through so I'll do my material and then I'll stick them through a little bit of foam from the outside it looks pretty good I got it up to the rubber the top of the rubber all along so it doesn't block my view and if I unscrew the panel 
then they can get out the windshield if I have a cracked windshield. Some of the edges I might have to wrap right about there, some glue around that to make it look a little cleaner. I don't mind the factory trim going up the side, but I'll cover that little part there. I haven't hooked anything up lights wise because I put those button lights so I haven't checked it out. But around the edge I use the glue stuff to wrap around the plywood that's in here. And then that sort of helps me with the trim. Put the wood up against it and cleans the edge up because I'm not sure what I'm going to put on the wood. Same as along the top. Clean that up. Just got a tuck here and there. And now I'm just waiting for gauges. So I got one of my gauges. It's a two inch voltage meter. Drill a hole and you slide it in. So a nice clean look on your console. Uh, it's digital, which is good to see when you're camping. You know, you can check your battery at all times. You don't want to get too low so you know when to shut down um, this for the dual battery if you're having it for your front battery you obviously don't want to get it too low but um, it's just a nice thing to have it's not just for show and being digital like i'm going to have a gauge on the van but it's just a stick meter kind of thing saying it's charging this will tell you exactly what's going on when something goes wrong you'll see a change and then you know before you run your battery too low because your alternator is not working or something and i got myself a clock it's a three inch size couldn't get two um put batteries in it seems to be working um again the chrome look Drill the hole, slides in, battery operated, great, no wires. And it's nice when you're laying in the back in bed and you look up on your console, you have a little idea what time it is. And um, it's practical. So now that I got these two things, I kind of need something else to help fill the front. I've got a few light switches to go in, but I'll get some other kind of gauge. I was thinking temperature, but I do have it on the van. Um, attack, maybe. Not that I vroom vroom, but uh, they look cool. But being up on top, not really as practical as down low, where you can see it. Now I can carry on with the console a little bit and um, try to get closer to finishing it. Dodge is signing out.